Five key points you need to know about Nautica Blue EDT. First key point is the smell. So this is a pretty simple scent and you can pretty much smell all the notes in this fragrance. The opening starts with a bright bergamot that comes across as very citrus with an invigorating kick, just your traditional bergamot smell. There are some sweet nuances from the peach and pineapple notes, but you can't specifically smell their notes and they're rather just fruity and sweet. These um, both sit on top of an aquatic backbone that is going to last for the rest of the wear and really make Nautica Blue what it is. After 15 or 20 minutes, the top note's intensity is uh, tempered by white florals of jasmine and water lily. And this is really just going to add a clean and classy aroma that is just going to balance out the fragrance. And then those last for a large bulk of the wear. And then once you get into the dry down after a couple hours, you get a woody depth that adds to the aquatic backbone from cedar and sandalwood, while the top and middle notes fresh and clean accents have lingered down and added to the base. So for the rest of the way, you're going to have clean and fresh accents with a woody and aquatic backbone. If you want a specific note breakdown, Fragranica has it listed with nine notes. Second key point is the performance. It lasts four to five hours on the skin with light projection. Given that it's only $15 and it's a citrus based fragrance, I'm not going to harp on the okay-ish performance too much. So as for the versatility, it can be worn for all occasions, go ahead, but it's best for casual situations because it doesn't really have that oat factor that really grabs attention um, at formal occasions or dates or special events like that. Now the seasonality, it is exclusively warm weather wear, so spring and summer. Third key point, the price and presentation. So this is a 100 milliliter bottle that was purchased from fragrancex.com for $17. It's just a simple clear glass bottle with a dark blue liquid and then a silver plastic cap that kind of clicks into place. And then the box is also blue with Nautica Blue written on the front and looks like so. Fourth key point, pros and cons. The first pro is it smells good and the second pro is that it's affordable. Now two cons, one, it smells synthetic and two, it has poor performance. However, you have to take these cons with a grain of salt as this is a $15 fragrance. So you really have to consider the affordability factor on this one. The fifth and most important key point is Nautica Blue worth it for the right person. At this price point, I think Nautica Voyage is a better fragrance and does about the same job. But if you can find it under $15 at uh, TJ Maxx or any other discounters, then it's definitely a great buy. Thanks for listening. See you next time.